are on our way to meet dietitian Priya Chu, who's been scrutinising Holly's food diaries to see how much she's getting right. So what does Holly and her family need to be doing to make sure they're getting all their vitamins and nutrients? Looks like you've been doing really well. There's some lovely variety in there and I can see that you've been spending some time planning out some of those meals. While Priya's not... time out because he had such a big struggle about it and refusing to eat it. This is the kind of thing that when I was a meat eater I probably would have just said, you know, oh, never mind, have a slice of ham and some cheese or something. So um, I'm at a bit of a loss when he just refuses to eat dinner. And when Morgan or Jay refuse to eat, it just adds to Holly's concerns that they're not getting the right nutrients. So she and I are on our way to meet dietitian Priya Chu who's been scrutinising Holly's food diaries to see how much she's getting right. So what does Holly and her family need to be doing to make sure they're getting all their vitamins and nutrients? Looks like you've been doing really well. There's some lovely variety in there and I can see that you've been spending some time planning out some of those meals. While Priya's not overly concerned the kids are missing out, there are some holes in the family's diet. Although you did have a range of protein, you were kind of reliant on the same ones, perhaps, for the children. And I wondered about whether you could try some different protein sources with them, so whether they might like tofu or tempeh. Nuts can be a really great addition. You don't have to have them whole, so you could try sliced almonds, for example. That would also help with another of Holly's big concerns, that Morgan and Jay aren't getting enough calories. I find it hard to work out how to get get those extra calories in. Seeds are also good so you can sprinkle seeds into a flapjack for example because putting them onto cereals if you were to add some dried fruit but it's just making a little bit more out of what you're yeah. having. Yeah. Bria says Holly has the building blocks of a healthy diet in place but there's one essential nutrient every vegan needs to pay attention to vitamin B12 and it's behind one of the most alarming stories about the risks of following a vegan diet. If you're on a vegan diet, then you're going to end up quite likely to be deficient in vitamin B12. So a large scale study that was done found that up to 50% of vegans and vegetarians had an increased risk of depression. So not having enough vitamin B12 can have a detrimental effect on your mood, potentially. It could do, yes. But Priya says there's an easy fix, as dairy alternatives fortified with vitamins and minerals are a great way to boost your level of B12. I must admit, I've never been a fan of dairy substitutes, but Priya's laid on a taste test of some of the most popular options. Here we have some coconut milk, almond milk, and we've got oats milk. Let's try it then. Come on in. Mm. Coconut's are very flavoursome, isn't it? On its own, that's, that's actually quite pleasant. So now we have got the almond milk. Yeah, it's quite strong. Oh. <laughs> That's that's not for me. Right, so what's the last one? Oat milk. Mm, yeah, it's quite sweet. The oat milk is a lot nicer. It's got a real sweetness, a natural sort of creaminess to it. But the great thing about these milks is they're fortified. So they've got vitamin D in, we've got calcium, we've got the B12 in there. So they're providing you with those nutrients that you might otherwise be missing out on. Yeah. The importance to research it and make sure you're replacing like for like is even more important, isn't it? It can be harder on a vegan diet to get all of the nutrition that you need, but there's no reason you can't do it. It's just the planning and the thinking it through. As well as tips for increasing protein, healthy fats and B12, Holly's also leaving armed with advice for how to ensure the kids eat more calcium and iron.